Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Uh, this is GTX Scorpion. All right, today I'm going to give you guys a video on how to set up streaming with AMD software. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure this out, but I actually figured it out. Don't mind my green screen. I'm trying to get that set up. Uh, so first things first, you're going to open your AMD software. If you do not have it, I'll put a link down in the description for you to download it. But you'll right-click on your screen. It'll tell you what you have right here. You open it up and come up here to the settings icon. Uh, you're going to go to the general tab and right here, you're going to scroll down just a little bit. You're going to see game streaming. You want to make sure that's enabled. Then uh, you can set up your recording how you want to do it, but we're going to be working on the live streaming. So you're going to make your way down here. You want to do it to 720p because most people watch their streaming stuff on the, either their phones or they just don't have that good of internet. So we're going to set it to 720, not 1080. There's no point in pushing out 1080p. Uh, then you want to change your video bit rate right here, which is your upload speed of your internet. Uh, I'm running about a little over five uploads, so I'm gonna do 2.3, so that way I'm not maxing out my internet. Uh, so I'm gonna do 2.3. Uh, you want to change your audio bit rate all the way up to 192. Change your FPS to 30 and this one's based on you. It's archive stream. If you're streaming, if you when you finish your stream, it'll archive it, which will mean it'll save it into a separate folder, and you can have the recording of it. So I keep that off because uh, you can always go back into your AMD uh, live stream folder anyway and pull the video again. Uh, your in-game overlay its based on whether you want your overlay to show up in-game or not. Uh, upgrade advisor, system tray menu, you know all the good stuff you got your toast notifications uh, you can choose your sidebar uh, position and when you do that it usually it'll just pull up like a little box like if you do it like this it'll go it'll go like super small off into the corner of your screen uh, but is not doing it right now because I'm actually not live right now. Okay, so the main thing I see a lot of people trying to figure out is how to set up AMD software for dual monitors. They do not have that capability yet. So if you're trying to stream and you have your AMD software on your second monitor but you hit go live and it just shows a black screen, what you want to do is you want to take and move it to your main display where your game is overlap your main game hit go live and then instantly move it over to your second monitor because there's no way that they haven't integrated the option for dual monitors yet so that's that's what took me for so long because i'm trying to figure out how to set it up because my streamlabs obs doesn't work with warzone it they both don't correspond with each other they lag out so it took me all night last night. I couldn't figure it out last night. I reset my AMD settings to factory defaults. I came back in, worked on it, figured it out finally today. Uh, it's a little, literally 10.50 a.m. here where I'm at. Uh, and I figured it out this morning about 9.30, 10 o'clock. Uh, so when you want to go live, you want to make sure it's on your main display so when you go into here you wanna actually go back here uh, go to accounts link whichever accounts that you're gonna do I'm gonna put my YouTube up so that way I can record with AMD software that way I can go ahead and get rid of uh, Streamlabs OBS that way I ain't gotta worry about it no more uh, so, but right now I have Twitch connected uh, you wanna go over here to the streaming tab you'll choose the account that you're streaming to which is me twitch choose your area that's closest to you mine's gonna be Dallas Texas uh, you wanna go full screen uh, region if you're doing multiple things really if you got your game you can put your game up in the top right hand corner top bottom left middle and then have a bunch of other stuff around the uh, the, the, the outside of the box of the game uh 
and you got your go live button. Your microphone, I have mine turned up to 80, so that way everybody can hear me really good over the game. Uh, push to talk, I don't have push to talk to enabled. There's no no point in having push to talk enabled unless you have a lot of noise in your background and you don't want people to hear it. You can just put push to talk on and say something, release, it's, good, it's done. Uh, you got your camera, which I don't have mine enabled right now, but if I wanted to enable it, I can just choose it, which I will be enabling it for my streams. Uh, record desktop. Uh, I experimented with it. Uh, if you don't record your desktop, it usually doesn't capture your game. I don't know why. It just doesn't. But uh, always keep it enabled unless you're not wanting people to see your desktop. Like you can see my desktop in the background. If you take and disable it it won't show the background it'll be blacked out and you can do whatever you're doing in the background and then when you're done doing it you can just re-enable it and go from there then you got your scenes right here which I only use one scene or I got these two scenes set up uh, this one's my like intermission scene where it's got just my camera and chat and then this one has my camera chat in my uh my game so i'll go up here to scene editor and you see here uh scene one oh well i have scene one set up different apparently that's not right it's supposed to be scene two and that's where you have your chat and stuff and your camera so what you want to do is you want to if you want to do it like this you can get overlays and stuff and import them in from like Streamlabs, elements or anything like that uh well, I'm doing the wrong boxes here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to put camera at max. And then we want to do chat. And I want to put chat over here on the right, like so. And I'm going to put it about right there. This is my intermission screen. This will allow me to switch games or do an update. Or if I'm going to the restroom or going to get something to eat real quick out of the kitchen. I can just pop this up. You guys can see my background, which is really not appealing at all. It's just a green screen. And eventually it's just going to be nothing if I walk away when I get it all set up. Uh, but we're going to go back to scene one. And we're going to edit this around here. So what I want to do is I want to make my camera about yay big. Put it down here. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Why is it like that? Okay, we're just going to leave it like that. Which I can, uh, you can also set up your green screen through here too. Just hit, use chroma key, choose green, then you can just choose between these settings. You can choose high, medium, or low, which I haven't done that on here yet. So that will be another video tutorial how to set up your your green screen. And then I'll have one setting up how to add overlays and alerts and stuff so that way when you get a new follower you'll be able to know when you got a new follower new sub uh, when someone donated to you or someone hosting or rating you I'll, I'll put all that stuff into a whole nother video later on uh, but for the sake of this video I'm gonna do it this way and then my chat I'm not gonna worry too much about my chat I'm just gonna put it down here like this maybe make it just a little bit smaller and then a little bit taller All right. So when I'm like that, it's going to be like that, okay? So that's that. Uh, you can hit the elements here. You can add a, add a browser source, which that's the one I was talking about, where you can add your alerts, your sub, done, all your notifications and stuff that uh, pop up. If you're doing what, if you want to put an image up, like a picture of your cat or your dog or something, you can put a picture of that up so everybody knows what your cat or dog looks like. So that way, thank you. Uh, you got your GIF, it's just an animated thing. Everybody knows what GIFs are. Then you got your video source, which is a video link from, say, the internet, or, or uh, if you got a video saved to your computer that you want to share with everybody, you can put that, choose the file, and it'll start playing the file through your stream. Uh, so, other than that, uh, we're going to go back up here. We're going to go to uh, display, 
and we're going to change our GPU scaling. We're going to enable that. We're going to change it to full panel. Uh, don't worry about HDMI link insurance. Uh, I keep that enabled. That way, if there's any connection between my uh, my main monitor with the HDMI cord going to the computer, it lowers the resolution, but you guys won't notice it, nor will I. It just does that to save your graphics card from further damage. Uh, keep your color death and pixel format to standard. Uh, then you want to go over here to video and uh, you can choose your profile from here which I have mine set to default but I'm changing it to sports because I like the settings within sports versus like the gaming or the enhanced or something like that. Uh, let's see. Go to graphics. So I have mine set to eSports, Radeon Anti-Lag anti enabled, Radeon Chill disabled, Radeon Boost disabled, Radeon Image Sharpening enabled, set the sharpness to 80% or you can adjust it however you like. Radeon Enhanced Sync uh, just reduces the visual tearing and the, uh, the lag. Uh, I have that disabled. I have off unless you use application specific but I'm going to just turn it always off. Uh, Anti-analysing used application settings, anti-analysing method. We're going to change that to multi-sampling if it's not already there. Uh, we're going to change this one to disabled, anastrophic filtering, disabled, texture filtering quality. You want to set this to either performance or high depending on your, based on your PC. I like performance. I like to output the best FPS I can for a better gaming experience. Uh, surface format optimization, uh, you can either enable it or disable it. You can hover over this. It just allows the driver to override the application. Choose more optim optimal texture format uh, to improve performance. Typically has a minimal impact on, on image quality. So it's just based really off what you put into it. Uh, tessellation mode, override application settings, change this down to either 4 or 6 for the maximum tessellation level. I'm going to put mine at 4 because uh, I don't want my games looking too grainy and I don't want them looking too high in quality. Uh, so your 10-bit pixel format, keep that disabled. Your GPU workload, uh, depending on your graphics card, uh, I have a AMD Radeon RX 580 overclocked uh, so I have mine set to graphics I'm running on an AMD Ryzen 5 1400 CPU it's quad core with eight multi threads so I don't want my PC straining itself with the compute mode because it works off your your CPU and your RAM and stuff uh, so I keep mine set to graphics because it's by far the best uh, let's see System, you want to check for updates. Make sure your graphic card is up to the latest version of AMD software. Uh, and if at any point in time you guys mess up your settings and it doesn't look right to you and you don't know what it is, just hit this factory reset button right here and it will change all your settings back to original defaults. It will restart your PC. Uh, that's what I had to do earlier to figure out my streaming stuff to get it working right because I went through changed all sorts of settings and it just ended up messing it up uh, you can see my my hardware over here uh, you can reset all your game stats which all that is is this right up here it tells you how many hours what your average frames is don't worry about my call of duty because that's not right it's wrong uh, let's see other than that that will be it for this video. I'm going to take and drop the link in the description for uh, the AMD software. Uh, if there's another video that you guys want me to do besides the setting up the green screen and the notifications and alerts and all that stuff and the overlays, uh, just drop it down in the comments below and I will make sure I get to it. Uh, also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch over at... Uh, Twitch.tv slash Scoprion YT. It's S C O P R I O N Y T. Don't worry, getting a name change soon. 
Uh, I still got a video coming for uh, how to increase your internet speeds to where your internet is pretty much just basing to your PC versus going to limiting it from going to like your TV in the living room, your parents' bedroom, or brother sister's bedrooms or something like that that way you get the maximum performance that you need for your pc in order to stream or play games or do both so look forward for that video i'm still it's still working progress i'm still still working on that uh other than that guys have a great day and i will see you in the next video